In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the sum of an arithmetic series. And the general term of an arithmetic sequence, remember the sequence is just a list of terms, the first term, comma, the second term, etc. The general term for an arithmetic sequence is a plus n minus 1d. A series is the sum of a sequence. So we could think of the sequence as a comma a plus d is the second term, a plus 2d is the third term, etc. The sum of the first n terms would be a the first term plus the second term plus the third term up to and the so tn is the nth term. Uh, we could write the one preceding it as the nth term minus d and then minus d for the one before it and minus another d that is. And uh, that's just because we're going in reverse order here. So last term to the one before it, one before it, etc. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this that series sum, S sub n, uh, again below it, but just in reverse order. So I'm going to write the nth term here, the n minus 1 term, or the term before it here, this one here, and then I'm going to write these, the whole thing in reverse order. So that term goes there, second becomes a second last, first term becomes a last term. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all this together. So s sub n plus another s sub n would be two s sub n's. And so I'm going to add this. So a plus term n would be a plus term n. Now notice when I add these together, the d and negative d add to zero. So we get another a plus term n. Same here, the 2d and negative 2d add to zero. So we get another a plus term n. And the same thing continues right to the very end. The negative 2d and 2d add to zero, so a plus term n add to zero, a plus term n, a plus term n. So notice every single uh, thing here is the same. Now there's n terms in this series, so there's n terms in this series as well that are all the same. So we could rewrite this as n a plus term n's because that's the number of a plus term n's that there are. Now, we're trying to solve to find a formula for s sub n here. So what I'm going to do is divide out the 2. So I would just get s sub n on the left then, and n over 2 here. And in place of this term, so that's that a. And so remember the nth term is a plus n minus 1d. So I substituted a plus n minus d in place of term n there. Now I can add the a and a together to get 2a. So this simplifies to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. Notice what's in the brackets here is an awful lot like the general term for an arithmetic sequence except it's a 2a not an a. So the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic series and so here's the, I'll generalize this to what's written below. There's the series. So the sum formula for the first n terms is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So that's the series sum formula for any arithmetic uh, series. And we're going to use it in the example on the next page here to find the sum of the first 40 terms of this series. So 4 plus 7 plus 10, etc. So the first thing you need to do is identify what a is. So a would be 4. We're adding 3 to go from term to term, so the common difference is 3. And it's the sum of the first 40 terms, so n would be 40. So we write out our, our series sum formula from the previous page, and we fill in all the a and d and n's. So s40 would be 40 over 2, uh, 2 times a, 2 times 4. And it's 40 here, so 40 minus 1 times, and then d is the common difference, is 3. So 40 divided by 2 is 20, this would be 8, this would be 39 times 3 here. So 39 times 3 is 117, we're going to add 8 to that, so that would be 125, we're going to multiply by the 20, and so S40 works out to 2500. So a little answer statement, the sum of the series would be 2500, or the sum of the first 40 terms is 2500. Example number two on the uh, final page. Uh, we're asked to find the sum of this series, 80 plus 74 plus 68, dot, 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 all the way down to negative 76. So the first term is 80. Uh, notice we're subtracting 6 as you go from term to term. So the common difference would be negative 6. It's, it's definitely an arithmetic series. But we don't know what n is, because we're not told, like the previous example, that n is 40, for example. Now, how we go about finding n is we do know the last term. 
the last term is negative 76. So if we find out which term negative 76 is, then that would be n. So for example, if negative 6 was the 53rd term, then n would be 53. So the way we can find that is by using the general term formula, the term formula, not the sum formula, because we're talking about a term for a moment here, uh, to find which term negative 76 is. So there's the term formula. So let's fill in the values. Negative uh, 76 is the term number, okay? is the term value. It's not the n value. So negative 76 is a term. A is 80. We don't know n. Uh, D is negative 6. So let's um, expand in the negative 6 here. Negative 6 times n is negative 6n. Negative 6 times negative 1 is 6. So we're trying to solve for n here, and that's how many terms there are. So bringing the uh, n term to the left, and notice it'll be positive, it would equal 80 plus the 6 and then plus 76. So 6n equals 162, divide out the 6, and we get 27. So negative 76 is the 27th term. So n is 27. So in our sum formula now, we can fill in everything because we know everything, including the n now. So we're finding sum 27. So n is 27. Uh, a is still 80, of course. 27 minus 1, because n is 27. And the common difference is negative 6. So that would be 160. Uh, this would be 26 times negative 6 inside the brackets here, which is negative 156. So 160 minus 156 is just 4. So 4 multiplied by, I divide 27 by 2 to get the 13.5 here. And so the sum of the first 27 terms is 54. It's a fairly small sum because of the fact is you've got a whole bunch of positive numbers, and it's going to go down to around 0, and then a whole bunch of negatives. So a lot of those negative num terms and the positive terms will add to 0. And so that's why the sum is actually fairly small, even though it's a sum of actually 27 terms. And that would be end. Well, there's an answer statement here. The sum of the series is 54, and that now is the end of the video.